Hello guys, Rach Titch here. Uh, vlog number four, I think we're on now. Thanks ever so much for watching those ones, particularly the last one. I know um, it's a bit of a stretch <laughs> trying to get you to sit still for 30 minutes, so thank you very much if you did. Sorry, I've not been more active. I've not really had an excuse to be, I've been lazy. So, yeah, this vlog is going to be mainly based around. Um, Sony really I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone because I'm not as familiar with them as I am with with the likes of Microsoft and even Nintendo um, but mainly to discuss Project Orbis as it's known but really also their announcement of an announcement um, for February the 20th um, so yeah it's all of this video is pretty much pointless <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to start um, because it's the 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 announcement at the moment. Everything we have on it is all based on speculation and rumor. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what this is based on. Mainly what I want and what I've read of others' opinions on the internet and spoke to my friends about about what we want from the future of gaming and the next gen consoles. So obviously Project Orbis for the PS4, as we assume it will be called. Um, and um, the 720, which it won't be called the 720, I really freaking hope not, um, but for the next Xbox as well. Um, I have made notes um, because I wanted this vlog to be a little bit more compact, not compact, kind of to the point as opposed to as many tangents as normal. So I have written notes, so please forgive me if I refer to them, which I will because I don't want to bore you too much. I kind of wanted to stick to and um, what I've read up, the facts, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, basically uh, what Sony did, I think it was the 31st of January, they um, they released a 45 second teaser um, with the, the tagline, um, See the Future, um, and then the 20th of Feb. Um, apparently they've invited um, investors and the media to um, an event, the announcement in New York. Um, yeah, so that's going to be interesting. They are going to stream it, so we should be able to watch it. I'm fairly sure it said um, 5.30 or 6pm um, America time. <laughs> I don't know. So I think what well, that's going to be, what well, we're going to be like six hours later in the UK. So hopefully we'll be able to catch it on a stream somewhere. But I'm sure um, Twitter will be um, loaded with, uh, with comments and things like that about people that are there. So I'm sure we'll all be kept in the loop. Um, a bit of a backstory, I suppose, on the announcements is apparently they announced the Vita in the same way in 2011. Obviously, the Vita being their next gen of their handheld consoles. So, a lot of people do think that the announcement may be to do with something like as Move was. Which I really hope not, because <laughs> Move was, um, yeah, I don't want to not make any friends <laughs> with Sony. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say it's next gen console. That's my opinion. Um, again, it's all speculation, but I think it's going to be their next gen. I think they want to um, be ahead of Microsoft, um, ahead of the game this year. I'd say we'll see both of the next gen of those consoles, Microsoft and Sony, this year. But I'd say Sony want to be ahead of the game with it. Um, when I was reading around online about it, one thing that stood out. Now I can't pronounce this word, um, but I'm fairly sure it's um, Gake, Gake. Gakey, <laughs> I'll I'll put this in the um in the comments box, um because I can't pronounce it. Um, it's basically the cloud gaming system that Sony purchased in 2012 for 380 million dollars or something like that. Um, it's a cloud gaming server. So a lot of people think that the announcement will be something to do with how Sony will implement that. Implement that. <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> um, implement that into uh, the next gen console. So that is definitely something to watch. Um, I've had a little look into it, and it does sound very, very interesting. But I think at the moment, I don't think our internet can really have that amount of capability to be able to stream as good quality games as they're probably going to want us to stream. So I'm a bit um and ah in. There are plenty of other ways that Sony could use that to their benefit to make the PS4 better. Um, and obviously take it on to the next generation 
but I don't think they should rely their whole game and service on there and I do think that they will still obviously have discs as well I just think that might be something gake <laughs> I'm so sorry if that's like a Japanese word <laughs> I'm just ruining it because I don't think that's how you say it um, so yeah um, what I want from the PS4 I say what I want I'd say what everybody wants again I've been reading lots of um, forums and things on it um, to see what other people want because I don't personally know that I'm going to be getting it I'll definitely get the next Xbox unless it's discless that will probably be the only thing that puts me off um, <clears throat> so I don't actually know whether I'll be getting the next Playstation but if I was to or as, as far as other people what they want from it um, a lot of people are kicking up a bit of a fuss with the compatibility um, as to whether it will be compatible with PS3 games or not um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm in two minds about this I understand why people would be pretty pissed off if it wasn't because when we get consoles and um, extra controllers and games and stuff now it's more of an not investment necessarily but you spend a lot building a collection um, for a console um, and you invest a lot of money into that product and that company in effect um, you know, forty, fifty pounds for a game. It's it's a lot of money. Um, so I think a lot of people will be pissed off if the PS4 isn't compatible with all the games that they've collected on their PS3. But if you think about it, it's it is the next generation of console. It is possibly going to be a different format. So it, I'm in two ways about it at the minute. I do understand that people would want the backwards compatibility, but when they tried it for the PS3, the original PS3 they brought out the 60 gig, um, was backwards compatible with a certain amount of PS2 games, um, which was a certain chip that they put into it. I don't want to get too technical, because I ain't got a freaking clue what I'm talking about, and I know that somebody will pull me off on it. Um, but basically, um, the chip that they put into the 60 gig, um, they then decided to just wipe off takeout. That's when they churned out all the other PS3s um, that didn't have that chip in it. I'm not techie at all in that aspect. <laughs> I'm geeky, but I'm not techie. Um, so yeah, I I don't know whether it will be backwards compatible or not, to be completely honest. Um, what other people want is a better interface. Um, I wholeheartedly agree with this. Anytime I'm on a PlayStation, which is rare, granted, um, but obviously there's Little Big Planet, um, Skylanders that I got for me little brother. Um, what else have I got on there? Uh, PS1 games that I play on there as well because um, my little brother, sorry, he's got a Playstation I haven't got one anymore um, but I would like the interface to be a lot more user friendly because I absolutely hate it I think it's just I don't know, I, I, know, it's, I know someone's tried hard <laughs> to create that so well done um, but no, I really don't like the interface on the Playstation 3 um, I think they could take a lot out of, um, out of um, the Xbox's book um, in the user base uh, into the dashboard. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is a train wreck. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, better interface. That would be great. Um, party chat. I always forget because I don't play online on the PlayStation um, that there isn't a party chat option. Um, I think because I've got the Xbox, I'm so used to being able to just join a party with my friends and all play different games, same game, whatever together, um, and be able to have a chat. And I kind of forget that that's not available on the PlayStation. So yeah, surely that should be something. Sorry, I've got hair on my nose. Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. <laughs> um, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, say so party chat. That would be really good as well. Um, what else did people want? Um, yes, with regards to the um, patent that Sony have filed for um, against used games. A lot of people want that reusability of a, of a game, uh, borrow it to their friends or you know be able to trade it back into a shop. Because if you bear in mind, a lot of people that have Playstations are kids that go on for Christmas and it's nice to be able to kind of get a kid to maybe trade in a game and put it towards another game that they might want. I think I think it's a really really good thing is is the trading um, scheme that a lot of places have um, and then obviously then by us being able to buy pre-owned games um, I think it'd be a real shame if 
the next gen consoles killed that off. So a lot of people want um, the replayability. That's a word, isn't it? <laughs> the replayability. Yeah, yeah, the replayability of their games. So yeah, it's that one again. Again, all of this is speculation, but people do want that replayability in their games. <clears throat> so yeah. For me personally, I would hate if, if they were to bring that in. But I'm one of the, I say lucky ones, um, I, I collect all of my games, I don't trade in anything. The only time I've traded something in um, is when I doubled up on a copy of a game. Um, and that's the only time I've traded anything in. Um, so yes, that's very important to people by the looks of a lot of the forums. That and the backwards compatibility are two very, very important features. Um, again, I think those two they tie very well with expense and how expensive these consoles are when we buy them and invest in them. So I'd say um, I'd say that's having a big effect. I'm sorry if you can hear a noise at the moment, by the way. My laptop's just decided to kind of close down. <laughs> so I have a little sleep. So yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear <laughs> a bit of a fizzy noise. And if not, I sound crazy. I'm sorry about that too. <laughs> Um, last um, thing that I noticed that a lot of people were chatting about online about the next uh, the next gen consoles, particularly um, with Sony's announcement, is the control pad. Um, I for one, if they change the Xbox control pad, we annoyed. <laughs> I absolutely love the uh, the pad for the Xbox. I really don't like the PlayStation pad. I think it's too light and I don't know. I don't feel like it's got anything to it. Uh, whereas the Xbox pad, I absolutely love the shape, the analog position, everything like that. So a lot of people think that the only difference for the pads will be um, possibly a touch system. Um, as you've got on the Vita, where you can touch the back of the Vita um, to make movements, maybe something like that on the next, um, particularly the next Sony pad if it's already Vita technology that they've got. So yeah, this whole video is based on speculation, so I'm so sorry it's been a complete waste of your time. <laughs> and if, uh, if uh, February 20th comes and this has nothing to do with um, what Sony want to say to you. So yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, thanks ever so much again for watching. I'm really, really enjoying doing these vlogs. And I hope you guys enjoy watching them as much as I enjoy making a fool of myself making them for you. Um, if you want um, any other kind of formats of videos, please let me know. Um, I will be getting a capture card soon. So, yeah, maybe some Minecraft adventures with um, some of my favourite people on Minecraft. Namely, as well, I got told off for not mentioning names. Uh, namely, um, the franchise, Paul, um, and Cal as well. Uh, my king and my knight in our world, where I have made multicolour cheap and uh, crew for explosions more than you can uh, throw a stick at. Probably. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks ever so much, guys, for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this new... Um, non ghostly appearance um yeah <laughs> thanks cheers guys bye